So here's the Maytag video transmitter. It's version 2 Maytag VTX HV. It's version 2, it has an MMCX connector. It has a button on one side and the other button is on the other side and is connected to this camera and then the signal will be received by the goggles let's power on the goggles so it's powered via that plus and minus here on the left side and the yellow the signal is the lower one tx is on top and vid is on the bottom so nothing is connected to the top so let's power on the entire setup And there's the video, you can see me. Okay, let's disconnect it once again. Disconnected and connected. So the red and the black is the power. It's 7 volts from the battery. It's a 7.4 volt battery, two cells. So red and black is from here. Red and black is going to the camera also. The red and black is visible here. Okay, so that is common. Red and black goes to the battery. And the yellow of this one is going there to the camera. The yellow is connected there. Two yellow wires soldered together. Okay, so that's the simplest way of transmitting video without using a flight controller. And using these buttons These two buttons you can change the power output so currently the 25 is used here on the left side let's see that's the top button now the band is flashing and it's on F F is from fat shark okay and with the lower one okay I did not switch it in time and it closed so once again it's flashing that one now it's there and confirm it with the top button that's the channel and that's the power okay so now since it's on a, another band it's on R on the left side R is for race band now we don't have any video in the goggles okay, so let's set it back top button back to let's say F Okay, you have to go to the end, and now we have video. Okay, so that's the Maytag HV version 2 video transmitter with MMCX connector, this one. And that's it. For example, let's change the power output. So currently it's on 25 milliwatts. Let's see the top button. Now it's on the band. Top button again. Now it's on channel. Now it's on the power. Now use the lower button. Now it's on 200. Now it's on 500. Now the top button. And it is logged. And of course, on 500, it will heat up even more. Oops, I cannot keep my hand on it, so I better disconnect it. Uh, 500, it will heat up much faster. And this video transmitter might emit the strongest, for example on 25 milliwatt, on the A6 and A7, then B1, B2, F1, F2, and so on. So on average, A7 is the best on all power levels.